Hello students, myself Abhi Stacey, I welcome you all in the session of Antenna and Wave Propagation subject. Today we are going to learn about the two antenna that is the resonant antenna and non-resonant antenna. So let's see the content that we have to study in this topic. In this session that is first antenna that is the resonant antenna and their advantages, applications and disadvantages and second thing that is the non-resonant antenna and also their advantages, disadvantages and application and at last we see the difference between the resonant and non-resonant antenna. So we compare both the antenna. So let's see the first antenna that is resonant antenna. The resonant antenna are like resonant transmission line. The dipole antenna are example of this antenna type. They are open ended at far end with resonant length. The term resonant length refers to multiple of quarter wavelength. The resonant antenna are those for which a sharp peak of the radiated power is interpreted by the antenna at certain frequency to form a standing wave. The radiation pattern of the radiated wave is not matched with the load impedance in this type of antenna. The resonant antenna are periodic in nature. They are also called as bidirectional traveling wave antenna as the radiated wave moves in two directions which means both incident and reflected waves occur here. In this antenna, the length of the antenna and frequency are proportional to each other. So let's summarize the first that is antenna having a length of multiple of lambda by 2 open at both the end are said to be resonant antenna. The length of the resonant antenna is exact multiple of lambda by 2. These antenna are open at both the end. These are not terminated by any resistance. They are used as fixed frequency. In this antenna, forward and backward waves exist. That means standing wave exists in this antenna. The half wave antenna has distributed inductance and capacitance and it acts like a resonant antenna or a resonant circuit. The voltage and current on it are not in phase. The length of the resonant antenna is found from the equation that is L is equal to VO upon F. When antenna length is increased to lambda, the polarity of the current on both half antenna are opposite and does not allow radiation at right angle as the field of both half fully cancelled. If the length is further extended to 3 lambda, the whole process is repeated generating minor lobes at right angle that are much smaller due to cancellation by reverse current polarity of both adjacent half. So, here we have a figure that is showing when we increase the antenna length there is a changes in the radiation pattern. So as for the lambda by 2 we get the radiation pattern of shape of 8. When we further increase the length at lambda we get this main lobe is divided or split into the 2. So we get 4 main lobes. When we further increase the length of the antenna from lambda to 3 lambda by 2, again it will be splitted or side lobes occur at the center. Now further we increase the length of this antenna to 2 lambda, that is 4 lambda by 2. Now again the center side lobes is again splitted into the 2. So this is the when increase the length of the antenna we get the variation in the radiation pattern of the antenna so this is all about the resonant antenna now let's see the second that is the non-resonant antenna 
the non resonant antenna are like non resonant transmission line non resonant transmission line do not have standing wave hence they do not have any reflected waves and they have only forward traveling wave non resonant antenna are those for which resonant frequency does not occurs the wave move in forward direction hence do not form any standing wave the radiation pattern of the radiated wave matches with the load impedance in the non resonant antenna these antenna are non periodic in nature they are also called as unidirectional traveling they are also called as unidirectional traveling wave antenna as radiated wave moves only in forward direction which means that only incident wave is present as the frequency increases the length of the antenna decreases and vice versa hence the frequency and length are inversely proportional to each other so now let's see the so important points of the non resonant antenna that is the antenna having a length not in multiple of lambda by 2 and open at both the ends are said to be non resonant antenna the length of the antenna is not exact multiple of lambda by 2 in this antenna one end is excited and other end is terminated they are not terminated by any resistance it operates over range of frequency having a wide bandwidth there are no reflected wave occurs so there is no standing waves it is also called traveling wave antenna it is terminated by characteristics impedance it is produced unidirectional radiation pattern it is also being called directional antenna so non resonant antenna are known as periodic antenna now at last compare both the antenna that is resonant and non resonant antenna so here we have a comparison of the resonant antenna and non resonant antenna so one by one let's see it first in resonant antenna the length is multiple of lambda by 2 here not in multiple of lambda by 2 open at the both end one end is excited it operates on fixed frequency it is operate on range of frequencies here in resonant antenna standing wave occurs here in non resonant antenna the standing wave does not exist resonant antenna are periodic in nature non resonant antenna are not periodic in nature in resonant antenna incident and reflected waves are present here in non resonant antenna only incident wave is present in resonant antenna length is proportional to frequency and non resonant antenna length is inversely proportional to the frequency the directivity of the resonant antenna is bidirectional and non resonant antenna directivity is unidirectional the efficiency which matters most so resonant antenna efficiency is high and non resonant antenna efficiency is low the resonant antenna not matches with the load impedance and non resonant antenna is matches well with the load impedance so here the comparison of the resonant and non resonant antenna at last we have some assignment for you so note down the question first that is the explain the resonant antenna second that is describe the non resonant antenna and third compare the resonant and non resonant antenna or you can attempt the quiz based on this video the link is given in the description box or you can scan the qr code total 10 question with 50% marking marks so this is the end of this session of subject antenna and wave propagation we will see some more antenna in our next session if you like this video please 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 subscribe and like our youtube channel ljpec-ele and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get latest video update fast